Hello, good afternoon. So today I'm going to show you how to create a simple joint statement and convert a, an SQL statement with join into a view. Okay, so I have here a local database and these are my tables. Okay, so I have attendance. Okay, so I have two rows, I have two records containing attendance ID, student ID, PETCHA or the date, time in and time out. Okay, and of course I also have the uh, student table wherein it contains student ID, F name, M name, L name, suffix, birthday, etc. Okay, so my objective is to create to create an output like this. Okay, so we have here the attendance ID, student ID, F name, L name, the PETCHA, the time in, and the time out, of course. And of course, to, for us to obtain this output, we have to work on two or more tables. And to do that, of course, we will be needing to, there will be a need for us to use join statement. Okay, so since attendance the student ID, PETCHA, time in, time out are located from uh, attendance table. And of course, the first name and the last name is located from a different table which is in F name. Okay, so now uh, we have to join first these two tables. Okay, and try to, to obtain the desired output. Okay, so to do that, of course, uh, we have to start first with the basic foundation or the fundamental structure of a joint statement. So select, then I will type here from, then join, and on. Okay, so since uh, most of we will be using this the attendance table then okay we will be getting the records of the attendance table and we will join uh, student record table in order to display the first name and the last name of specific student based on student ID okay so I will type here attendance, attendance, then uh, student. Okay, then here in the on clause, we need to specify the criteria or the basis. So if you will look at the structure of each table, so here we have here a foreign key, the student ID which is the primary key of the student table okay so that will be our basis of joining records from these two different tables okay so attendance that okay so since we're working on multiple tables we have now to specify on which table each fields will be coming from okay so let's say for example attendance that stood id is equal to student that stood id okay so th here's the criteria then of course let's specify the fields you want to display so of course uh, As I have shown earlier, this is our target output, right? So we will be including attendance ID, student ID. Therefore, we have to specify it here, attendance. That attendance ID, then comma, attendance. That stud ID, comma. Okay, so after attendance ID, we need to insert or include f name and l name but 
these two table uh, these two fields are located in a different table so we have to specify here student that okay so let's get the first name or the F name comma student that uh, L name comma then after that uh, let's proceed with the Pecha time in time out all the, the remaining fields are all located in attendance and that Pecha attendance that time in then attendance and that time out okay so let's try to execute this command or the script or the sql statement to see if we will obtain the desired output okay so here's the result okay so as you can see we achieve our desired output compared to this okay exactly okay so now uh, after completing the after completing the the script we will now convert this into a create view uh, into a view okay so to create a view of course we will be executing create view statement but uh, remember that a view is a virtual table uh, okay remember that a view is considered as a as a virtual table based on a result set of an SQL statement okay so it also contains rows and columns just like a real table but remember you cannot insert update or delete records from a view okay so how can we convert this into a view so by adding additional lines create view create view then specify the name my uh, vw value my attendance then as okay so as simple as that then let's try to execute highlight then control f9 okay so after executing the line let's try to check by refreshing the objects let's try to refresh okay so there you go we just created a, a view bw my attendance so let's see if let's try to display table uh, display the the records from using the VW my attendance select asterisk from VW my attendance okay control A then control F9 okay so that's it so here's our table that's how easy to create a table in my SQL that's all for today and see you on my next tutorial and have a nice day.